김보석 투 예전부터 박남규 선수의 스타일은 굉장히 공격적인 뒤가 없는 마치 오늘만 사는 남자 그런 느낌들이 많이 강했었는데 이번 김준호 선수를 상대하면서 이 선수도 이번 캐스파 컵을 노리고 있구나 굉장히 많은 연습을 하고 있구나 라는 것을 느꼈어요 네! 버글링 팀투! 이거 아무것도 없거든요! 이게 진짜 다른 저거와의 차이점입니다 여기 네. 버글링을 추가로 또 찍었거든요 야 이걸 먹네요 한번... 박남규의 공격성이 아직까지 남아있습니다 본인이 갖고 있는 장점을 유지한 채 운영형 실력까지 늘어났기 때문에 이변이 될수 있겠다 캐스파 컵에 어울리는 선수가 됐다 라고 생각을 했습니다 박남규 선수가 올인이 아니라는 걸 알게 되거든요 아직까지 갈 생각이 전혀 없고 후반만 바라보고 있는 게 박남규예요 후반으로 가서 박남규가 이기, 이깁니다 중장기선으로 넘어가서 자신의 실력을 보여주면서 경기를 끝냈습니다 Welcome back to the Cast Pickup, guys. We are going to jump into our interview now with Stats, the first player to make it into the round of four. We're going to ask him some questions and get that translated for you guys right away. It's very impressed with Stats' calm nerves and consistency from start to finish. Where does all that calmness come from? All that confidence. May not have shown outside, but inside I was trembling, butterflies all over the place, very nervous. There were a lot of moments where my mentality just got totally crushed. Leaving all the high templars out in the middle of the map, that's a pretty big example of that, I suppose, what happened there. So that's talking about his hotkeys. He thought he set that hotkey, thought he set it on one, but it was actually on hotkey two. And so he lost them in the middle of the map. And when he lost the map because of that, he thought maybe Maru is better than me, or he's got the better you know control multitasking than me. Kind of lost some confidence from there. So, well, this is gonna ask 요즘 테렌전에서 빠른 트리플 하고 빠른 트리플 하고 토신 택 하고 있어요. 그거는 너무 빨리 하고 같은 시간에서 하니까. 좀 위험하지 않을까요? 음. 그거는 너무 같은 시간에서 너무 일찍 가니까 어, 그러니까 뭐. 초반에 너무 많은 것들을 네. 시도하고 그게 좀 위험한 것이 아닌가 네. So Wolf asking about uh, his heavy investments in the early games going for a you know, fast 3 base and going for Colossi at the same time asking is that not dangerous? Stats agreeing that it's a very dangerous timing but when you take that risk and if you succeed in building that composition the rewards are so great that the risk becomes worth it. And he, he becomes confident that he can defend until that, until that moment. So just asking, who does he want to meet in the round of four? His choices are Neeb and Pet. He personally wants to avoid Zergs. It doesn't matter which player specifically, but he just really wants to avoid Zerg. So, if Neeb makes it up, he wants to have a go at Neeb, actually. He wants to get revenge for some of the players that Neeb knocked out, maybe for his Korean brethren. Saying that uh, we asked the exact questions that JYP was asking. Or thinking of asking about. Oh. <laughs> so he's talking about the previous interview where Stats posed and you know stuck his finger out. And he said it was really uh, cool. So maybe if you can say some challenging words towards Neeb, perhaps for Neeb getting to the round of four. 
그걸 똑같이 손가락을 하면서 너는 어디까지라고요? 너는 거기까지야. Says, this is your limit, Neeb. This is the best you'll be. This is as far as you're getting, Neeb. That's what Stats says. Let's see what Kanata has to say. Kanata was saying, oh, I was just sitting here not thinking about anything. So he asked Stats, did you make any new friends? Going back to their, their co economy, comedy, their variety show, Everyone's You Take Gold. So asking if he's going to add him to his friends list. <laughs> so stats equally confused about what's going on. I guess these guys must have had a, a segment on that one where they were talking about adding each other to each other's friends list. And I remember last time stats talking about how he didn't have many friends, so outside of gaming he doesn't do much except more gaming. So maybe they're talking about that as well. So that's it for the interview. He says thank you. So we'll ask, or rather, we'll see which player is the one to reach the limit. Is it going to be Neeb or Pat in this next matchup?